Hey everyone, welcome to TechWired. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 129, sum root to leaf numbers. First, we will see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Now, let's dive into the solution. So, here I have taken an example from the lead code website. So, in this problem, we need to find values from root to leaf. Right? We need to find each and every path that from root to leaf and concatenate all the values and add it to my final result. That's all the problem is. So basically, this is one path from root to leaf. 4, 9, 5. I will concatenate. 4 is one value, 9 is one value, and 5 is one value. I will concatenate those values. It will be 495. Right? Then the next path from root to leaf is 4, 9, 1. This is one path, right? 4, 9, 1. I will add that to my final result. Then next path from root to leaf is 40, 4, 0. Here 0 is a leaf node, right? Then I will add that to my final result. If I add all these values, I will get 1, 0, 2, 6 at the end. We need to return 1, 0, 2, 6 at the end, right? Now we will see how we are going to do this. So here I have a variable current sum where I will keep track of the sum in the path, right? So I will start from the root. Then we know all the values in the nodes lie between 0 to 9, right? And when I visit each and every node, I will update my current sum. I will take the current sum, right? I will multiply it by 10 and I will add the current value current node value. This will be the way to update my current sum in the path. Right? So I will update this current sum until I reach my leaf node. So now currently I am in the root node. Now I will update my current sum. So initially my current sum is 0. I will multiply it by 10. I am going to get 0 plus the value that is 4. We are at the root node that is 4. So current sum will be 4 now. I have updated the current sum in the path. Then I will visit the next node that is 9, right? Again, I will update my current sum in the node 9. So the current sum is 4 into 10. I am going to get 40 plus the node value that is 49, right? So current sum will be 49 at the node 9, right? Next, I will go left further. Next, this is my node. And again, I will update my current sum, which is 49. Then I will multiply it by 10. Then plus the node value, that is 5. So 490 plus 5, I'm going to get 495 in this path. Right? In this path, the current sum is 495. Now, since I have reached the end node, I will update that in my result this is my final result initially my result will be zero so i am going to add 495 to my result so now my new result after the updation is 495 right now i have to visit the right side of my node 9 so i will visit one now this is one path right we need to visit this path so my current sum is 49 from node 9 it is 49 then I need to multiply it by 10. I'm going to get 490. Then I will add 1 to it. I'm going to get 491. So current sum after reaching the leaf node 1 is 491. Right? Since I have reached the leaf node, I will update my result now. I will add 491 here. Then I will return back. Now I need to visit the right side of my 4. That is in this path, right? So now I am visiting the root node 0. Now I need to update my current sum. That is current sum is 4 into 10. So from this path, the previously updated current sum is 4, right? We have 4 here. Then I need to multiply it by 10. I will add the current value that is 0. So I'm going to get 40 here, right? And then since we have reached the leaf node, I will add 40 to my result set. And we have done with the, all the paths. 
and I need to return the final result that is 1026. Right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. So before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially I'm going to create final result variable that is zero. Then I'm going to write the DFS function where I will be having root and my current sum, right? Then I'm going to return when we reach the leaf node. Then we are going to update our current sum by multiplying the current sum with 10. Since we know our node values are 0 to 9 and then we will add the current node value, right? And when we reach our leaf node, we are going to update our result variable, right? So here I will update my result variable by adding the current sum in the path, right? Then I will return. So I will traverse in the left of my binary tree and in the right. right then initially i'm going to start from my root node then i will keep my current sum as the zero then finally i'm going to return the final result variable right that's how the code is now let's run the code so the time complexity is order of n and space is order of n as well Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Also check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.